All right guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And today I'm gonna to give you an update on my Niles skimmer. All right, so today I wanna to give you my feedback on the Niles 220 skimmer after a year of usage while I clean my skimmer cup. So if you're considering about the NIOS uh, product line, um, I'd say go for it. I think they work really well. And I think this NIOS 220 is a perfect size for my setup here. That is because I believe in high import and high export. And this skimmer is a workhorse, so it's helping me out greatly with the export piece. Um, so I have no issues in terms of performance. However, um, the rest of this video, we're gonna be looking at how I clean my skimmer cup, and then I'll give you some of the um, issues that I've discovered with the skimmer so far. All right, so here is the Nio skimmer body, and I'm actually not gonna clean this today. I'm just gonna do uh, uh, clean the uh, actual cup. But uh, one of the drawbacks, or actually there's a few, but the first one here we can talk about is the air inlet and this guy here just cracked on its own and i'm not sure exactly why maybe something got yanked pulled i don't know maybe it's resonating at a certain frequency possibly but for whatever reason it cracked uh, a few months back and i just noticed it so that's the first issue uh the second thing is i really can't fine tune this thing um, if I adjust it or try to close up the outlet, I'm just going to get wet skimming. So I had to just leave that open up all the way, all the time. The third thing is that um, the skimmer is actually elevated off the ground. So if I have it all the way to the ground, it's just going to be constantly wet skimming. And so for me to get the dark and get more of a dark skim, I have to elevate it. And it's elevated with a Nios, uh, well actually with a Hanna checker box. So it's about roughly three inches off the bottom glass. All right, so here's a skimmer cup and I typically just clean it in the kitchen sink. Um, but I usually use something like an old toothbrush clean it up a bit and then uh, I start scrubbing and cleaning the filter cup so let's get to it all right so there's really no easy way to clean this except just go in and start scrubbing this and I normally like to start off with the actual lid itself turn on my water make it lukewarm and I go through and give it a good scrub Now to clean around the edges inside here, um, this is all, the only way I can get around that is to use something like a towel and just go around here just like this to clean it up a bit. To dry this around here. All right, there you go, this is done. And then to clean the cup, I usually just like to dump this in. Then I'll start scrubbing it with some lukewarm water. All right, so that's good enough for me. I usually just go through and try to give it a good wipe here. Put the cap back on. All right. And we are good to go. It's good to go back onto the skimmer body. All right, so skimmer cup is cleaned and I'm getting ready to put this back on the skimmer body and then I'll turn it on. But basically this is what I normally go through um, once a week at the very least, depending on how much I'm feeding my fish tank. Uh, sometimes I do it twice a week. But uh, overall the skimmer works really well. Um, 
Um, I do again have those few issues that I've ran into over the year of using this, but I don't think it's a big drawback. I think this skimmer performs really well for um, what it's worth. And uh, I highly encourage you to get one and find out for yourself. Again, guys, thank you for stopping by. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And again, thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.